a big deal. You don't uh, live in Iowa without right. knowing about the 93 yeah. flood. It still gets referenced often, uh, even when we're talking about drought and high temperatures, Zane. Yes, yeah, absolutely, yeah. If you lived in Iowa any length of time, you're going to have memories of the floods of 93, or if you weren't quite old enough, you're going to be remember everybody else's stories of the floods of 93, uh, like me. Oh, clear skies outside today, though. Obviously, yeah, this summer it's not about flooding. We've been mostly dry here across the state. Uh, we had some nice, dry, comfortable air, though, this past weekend. We are starting to bring just a little bit more humidity back in, though, as we start the new work week. Dew points above 60. That's kind of the air. You can start to notice that mugginess just a bit. 84 is our temperature, too. Temperatures a little bit higher today as well. Later this afternoon, most of us will top out upper 80s to around the 90 degree mark here for your Monday. No more 70s out there. Sky's pretty much clear as you just saw a moment ago, not only here in the metro area, but across the state. We've got a cold front to our north. It's not super cold, but it is a boundary that's going to be a focus zone for a few storms here as we go into later tonight and then into parts of tomorrow night as well. So hour by hour as we head towards the late afternoon, early evening, there's going to be a few storms that fire up here towards, let's say, the Highway 20 corridor closer to Sioux City. Those are going to kind of start up around three, four o'clock. There might be a couple of stronger ones around the five, six, seven o'clock time frame, and then those will die off. The storms will get focused up here to a more better environment for them along the Iowa Minnesota border around midnight. And then you notice they kind of fizzle as they head southward here after dark. So there's a slim chance you get an isolated shower here in central Iowa after dark tonight, but a, not a great one. That's where that's rain chance number one. And then that front sinks through the state and gets hung up, becomes stationary into tomorrow on Tuesday. And where it becomes stationary will be important because that's basically going to be the highway for another couple clusters of storms that will move our direction as we head towards late tomorrow night. There'll be a little bit of a difference in temperatures too tomorrow. Widespread upper 80s today. Tomorrow will be 70s to the north, 80s to the south. And then along that front is where storms will travel out of parts of Nebraska and South Dakota after midnight, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning then. So wee hours of Wednesday morning. Might be a little bit loud out there with some heavy rain, some lightning thunder, maybe even some damaging winds and hail that come into the Iowa across early Wednesday. And then those will be wrapping up as we head towards the second half of Wednesday. But late Wednesday night, that's probably our best chance of some heavy rain and maybe a couple of these stronger storms. Right now it's a level two risk, that yellow zone across much of central and western Iowa after midnight Wednesday morning into the late late part of Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, however you want to look at it. With strong wind gusts, large hail, definitely potential and some heavy downpours. And it's kind of an active weather week here as we go through the eight day forecast. Temperatures pretty much around the 80s each day. After we get those storms out of here early Wednesday morning, we'll probably have another couple isolated showers and storms as we head towards Thursday, another shot at rain Friday and then late Saturday. So if you miss out, hmm. you got another possibility and we're going to keep that kind of standard July level temperatures and humidity pretty much all the way through this week.